Next morning, 30 October, we squared away our packs, picked up our gear, and moved out to board ship. Even though we were leaving bloody Peleliu at last, my mind was distracted by an oppressive feeling that Bloody Nose Ridge was pulling us back like some giant, inexorable magnet. It had soaked up the blood of our division like a great sponge. I believed that it would get us yet. Even if we boarded ship, we would get jerked off and thrown into the line to help stop a counterattack or some threat to the airfield. I suppose I had become completely fatalistic. Our casualties had been so heavy that it was impossible for me to believe we were actually leaving Peleliu. The sea was quite rough, and I looked back at the island with great relief as we put out for the ship. Haney came up alongside me and leaned on the rail. He looked gloomily at the island and puffed a cigarette. Well, Haney, what did you think of Peleliu? I asked. I really was curious what a veteran with a combat record that included some of the big battles of the Western Front during World War I thought of the first battle in which I had participated. I had nothing in my experience to make a comparison with Peleliu. Instead of the usual old salt comment, something like, You think that was bad? You ought to have been in the old corps. Haney answered with an unexpected, Boy, that was terrible. I ain't never seen nothing like it. I'm ready to go back to the States. I've had enough after that. <laughs>